Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 2600.5551, which is a new build that Microsoft has released with a few new features, improvements and also fixes that we're going to cover in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is introducing some new AI features, starting off with an improved window search on Copilot Plus PCs, where you can actually search for things without actually knowing the name of those photos, settings, and so on. But as I've said, this is only working on Copilot Plus PCs. Also, we get another new Copilot Plus PC feature, which is making visual content more accessible with image descriptions in Narrator. Basically, Narrator will now generate more richer image descriptions on your Copilot Plus PCs, and you will get more detailed information about certain things. And this is now currently available only on Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs. Microsoft is also adding some improvements to widgets. As you can see here, I have the new widgets UI that I don't think I showed on this channel yet. But basically, first of all, Microsoft is trying out the ability to read content such as full articles, slideshows, and videos directly within your MSN feed and the widgets board in Windows 11. So I think that is pretty nice. And also, Microsoft is adding more options to personalization and then lock screen, where of course, we can now customize our widgets. But in addition to this, we're also going going to get, as it is slowly rolling out, a new option to customize widgets such as the weather widget with the location and also the measurement unit. Also another feature that Microsoft is adding in this build is the improved desktop icon. So for example, if I were to drag and drop an app from the O app section in the short menu, we're going to notice that the icons on the desktop, the shortcuts, will be larger and will no longer show an accent colored backplate. I think that is pretty nice. So overall, they will be easier to see and larger. There are also certain fixes in this build. For First of all, related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue causing File Explorer home to crash for some insiders after the latest flights. Fixed an issue where the organizing new folder options might not be visible in the save dialog when using dark mode. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing app icons in the taskbar to become unexpectedly oversized in recent flights after disconnecting from an external display and some other cases. Related to input, if your touchpad wasn't working with the previous flight, that should be resolved now. Related to graphics, Microsoft fixed an issue where when using copy pixels, the pixels may be unexpectedly inverted in some cases, and they also fixed an issue where some JPEG images weren't displaying, although they could display correctly on older builds. And also, Microsoft fixed an issue causing Windows Sandbox to not work in the last flight. There are also some new known issues, for example, in this build, the Windows recovery environment won't work, and the fixed problems using Windows Update option won't work in this build, but that will be fixed in a future build. Some apps may appear blank after installing this update, closing and relaunching the app may correct the issue. And also, some apps like Spotify may fail to launch after installing this update. If you uninstall the update, these apps should launch again and Microsoft is working on a fix. Also related to the task manager, search and other options such as filtering in task manager does not work in this build and of course will be fixed in a future build. So this is pretty much all there is to it inside this latest build for the dev channel. I'm not gonna go and make it another video for the beta channel as well because the beta channel is pretty much the same build but of course you can check out the official Microsoft blog post for the beta channel if you want to learn more about it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.